Near for the 4 2 victory against Mask United this evening. Um, all in all, a very good night's work for your side there. Yeah, obviously, Derby game um, was always going to be tough for us. Um, they're fighting for their lives. We've not been great at home. Um, we wanted to deliver another performance and uh, you know where we left off from Saturday against FC United, and uh, I think we delivered that. Yeah, it was Aaron Haswell who opened the score for Whitby 12 minutes in. Um, a shot off the crossbar, but on the back as well of you know a bit, a bit of pressure from Whitby hitting the post and having a shot blocked just before that as well. Yeah, I was I was really happy with us. We kept pressing. Um, Junior was unlucky with obviously his, his strike that at the post. Um, as he had one before that, it's it was it was just good for us to see that we were hungry. We were sniffing sniffing mask out and could see them under pressure. So um, it was just it was a real dominant part of the game for us. And that, you know I don't think the one goal did it justify the the, the performance. No, and the disappointing element is going in half time one apiece um, from a corner, all very scrappy and something that we saw in the, the opening weeks of the season that type of goal. Yeah, bit schoolboy. It's it's frustrating. Um, I'd like us to be dominant there. I really would. Um, but Mask have, have d delivered a great, you know, it's a great routine for them. Good quality on the ball uh, from the corner, and they've, they've obviously scored against all totally against the run of play. But then that gives them a, you know, that allows them to go on the front foot a little bit. They get a little bit of confidence, and you know, it was going in at one all at half time. You know, I'm sure they thought they could get on the front foot and get something from the game. Yeah, and disappointing as well on the back of conceding that goal was it was they had a string of corners and all of them seemed to cause a few problems defensively. They did, and that was the main talking point of the, the half time team talk. Um, we needed to be a lot more uh, switched on and mature. I think we, you know, they've they've got a lot of experienced players in their team and they're well drilled. You can see Spike's got them well drilled on their sets, and we fell into the trap a couple of times, which was disappointing. But we're learning every week. Um, we didn't do it in the second half, so it was a massive plus for us. Yeah, and in the second half after that team talk, it seemed that we did come out, yeah. you know, on the front foot as you would have asked for them, and you know, pl create plenty of openings in that second half. Yeah, listen, we were good in the first half. We were just exceptional in the second half and it's just reminding the lads to keep doing the right things and, and do it with, you know, um, enjoy enjoy being good. Um, lots of aggression. I keep using the word courage because that's what it is with and without the ball. Um, and they showed that. They didn't take any chances. They did the basics well. Um, but they went through the rotations and breaking lines, everything that we work on. Um, and it worked the oracle for us, but it was, a, it was a real good second half performance, something very similar to FC United. The difference is we, we have four goals to show from it. Yeah, and the second goal coming from the penalty spot, but um, in the build-up to that, all the good work coming through Junior Mondal, having you know the, the skill to take around the goalkeeper and win the uh, win the penalty as well. Yeah, he's outstanding in the final third, Junior. It's when he comes alive and when he makes that run across the defence and then comes inside, it, it takes a, a good delivery from the, the person passing the ball. and We've done it a couple of times, but um, tough to bits for Junior tonight. He's obviously just picked up a little knock that we need to look at, but um, real solid performance for him. Yeah, and then it was Brad Fuster who was uh, once again showing his instincts, capitalising a defence error like he did on um, Saturday. FC United just having the odd ass death to chip the keeper as well. He just he's the, he's the best at what he does. I keep saying it. You know, he didn't start tonight. He, he come off with uh, tightness against FC United. We went with the team that finished the game, so he probably felt that done by scoring a goal, and I get that. But squad game and where we call, we've got the starters in the eleven, and we've got the finishers who are on the bench, and and Fuse has come on as as well as Jerome and Priestley, and they've certainly finished the game off for us, give us more energy, and you know we we, we were relentless, and Fuse was a big part of that. Yeah, and then the fourth goal as well, once again from the penalty spot, a mm -hmm. carbon coffee pretty much from uh, Jacob Gratton, but what you know there, he's he's dangerous ball into the box, then Jerome Greaves completely mapped to start, eventually just you know having his heel clipped in another penalty as yeah. well. Yeah, yeah, Jerome again. Two, two players that have come in in the summer and they've been brilliant. Um, Jerome hasn't had as much game time as he wants. We've had a, a little chat this week about you know trying to get more out of his game. And he's come on tonight and he's done exactly what he did against Ilkeston. He's affected the game, he's been aggressive. Um, won the penalty, um, some great touches, bringing people into play. And Gratz has been really strong as well, but I, you know, it, it probably wrong of me to single you know, a few, few of the players out. They're all outstanding. Um, they all showed what they're about tonight and uh, you know it was, a, it was a great team performance. Yeah, and just again another down of supposed towards the end, conceding in stoppage time, and with a, a goal that sort of felt yeah. very much like one of those goals you typically score in the uh, the last few minutes, where perhaps yeah. switch off a bit defensively. Yeah, it's disappointing. You know, we sat with self standards and at, at four one we're coasting. Listen, we've still got three points, but we just need to be better. We know that. Um, it's important we learn from it, uh, but we can't dwell on it. We just we just move forward and make sure it doesn't happen again. Yeah, and it was a big match tonight, and then the same again on Saturday back at home mm. in the FA Cup against Morpeth Town and. Uh, you know, once again, you've been needing the support that you got tonight to get behind the lads from the start. One hundred percent. It's um, 
when the when the crowd are here like that, you know, particularly on night games, it's great. It's great when they turn out in force and, and make a noise. We've got to give them something to shout about. We've we've not done that the last few games here in the league. Um, tonight we have, and uh, Saturday's a big game for the club for uh, for a whole host of reasons. Obviously, the money side of it, you know, the, for the fans, it's it's advancing for a crack at the a chance for the first round, and you know we've got a team in our league, so. You know, as I said on Saturday, it's a, it's a winnable game. They'll be saying exactly the same thing. I think it's going to be a juicy tie, a lot, lot for st lots on for stake, and we've got to uh, we've got to come and perform. How much, Nathan?